Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Kamaheim Project R. Now, this is the probably the first adult game I'm ever gonna do on my channel, and yeah, that's all you guys need to know. <laughs> so I got my welcome back rewards because I played this on release. It was actually pretty interesting. It had a really good gameplay behind it. This is the non-adult version, which you can get through this site. Yeah, nothing really much to worry about, but. Let's get into it, because I haven't touched this game in, like, years. And I have a crap ton of rewards that I need to claim. Okay, and it just froze. Don't tell me they still have issues with the old browser thing. Okay. Oh, it's connecting. Okay, just let it connect. Okay, well then. 10 out of 10. Still having issues. I can get in there just fine, but for some reason not. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, they still need a lot of issues. Like, aren't out. Yeah, I haven't played since 2017. That was the last time I played, apparently. Oh, and I have a lot of rewards for, like, anniversaries and stuff. Oh, my God. So, this game is kind of pay-to-win-ish. Kind of, kind of. Really depends. And I have a crap ton of summoning stuff I can do. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I could do a lot of gotcha events. Apparently, I got a greeting for someone. I can't believe you people still have me added. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people have been playing this game a lot. Like I said, this game is kind of like Unison League, and, but mostly leans towards um, Grand Blue. And I'll show you guys why. There are several characters that you can get. Your main character, who are the souls, and then there are the characters you summon for. Your main character has all types of different skills. It can defense down. This character was retardedly strong. I'm pretty sure she's replaceable now. Um, like she could debuff you with pretty much every single debuff in the game, or nearly every single debuff in the game. I wonder if it'll still show it. Uh, well, it's not gonna show the full thing, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and change souls. So these are all the characters I have right now. They're all mastered. Uh, I'm slowly saving up points to unlock the rest of them. You need soul points to unlock some of these guys. Not only that, you're going to need to max certain characters to unlock the other characters. And the more characters you master, these are the stats you get from it. So you guys can see why I say this game is kind of leaning more towards Grand, Grand Blue. Because... In Grand Blue, you would have to max out all types of different classes, but in Grand Blue, you would have pretty much your actual own character. And this one, you have these different unique characters you can switch to. They finally added in Bo. What? About time. So yeah, they finally added in the other characters that dealt with the whole bunch of weapons we could use, which was the bow and arcane. Alright, I might get back into this game. It was actually pretty fun and unique on the gameplay. I could get Arthur just for like the damage buffs and all that. Since I have everything on her pretty much done. But I think I was saving up for this character because she could heal. But I needed this character so she would increase my recovery amount and I would also get the heal all people skill and defense well actually here's the thing there's a main abilities then there's extra abilities when getting a character and maxing them out you get these skills that can go to other characters this skill, the main one that this character comes with, is unique to them. 
you can't take it out or switch it and put it on anybody. So I can't put the hill all on somebody. I can only take these and put them on different characters. And I guess I'll show you guys me customizing the skills, maybe. Oh yeah, here we go. So here are all the skills I've learned from maxing out the other characters. So this is the setup I have. I gotta remember. I have the regen skill on us. And I can change this one. Oh, apparently you can only have one extra. That's what it was. Whoops. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Yeah, the one extra ability. The higher the rank. So basically, the higher the rank, the more skills you get, obviously, just because they're master characters. With Arthur, she gets to refill her burst gauge, does extra damage, and increases everybody's damage. So I can put that on my main character and increase it. But just a small note, you can't put these skills on any of your gacha units. You only put it on your main character. So yeah, unfortunately you can only put one extra skill instead of, you know, multiple. Which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go to my inventory, show you guys all the weapons and stuff I got from when I last played. Here are all my units. Yes, I have some pretty trash units. All I have are two triple SRs because it was really difficult to get triple SRs in this game. And it was actually pretty easy to get the weapons. Especially if you did all the events. These are the monsters that you can go in with that have special effects. Um, I tried to farm the hell out of them, but uh, they kind of went south. <laughs> so, also, if you're going to play this game, make sure to always change your main monster. Because that's what people are going to be using. They're not going to be using your character, they're going to be using your monster. And that monster needs to be to the element of the event that is going on, which is a lightning event, so I need to change to a wind. Pretty sure this is a lightning event, right? Yeah, that's definitely lightning. So this event's going on. You have to collect the material by killing boss raids and everything. And the story is probably went way beyond from where I last left off. Because when I last stopped playing, the story only stopped here. So pretty much on release, it was just pretty much they were developing the story as it went on. So now you can unlock more unique characters. And I have been going on the whole time and haven't been showing you guys gameplay. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to skip the story just because I can always go back and look at it. So yeah, everybody has all these different unique monsters and everything. And now you can select by element. Now which is fantastic. They did not have that last time I played. I want to see this character's stuff. Finrir. But this is the team I'm going in with. I think the last event I stopped at was a dark event. No, light event. <laughs> dark event. But yeah, the last event that was around probably was a uh, light event. So I probably had dark and everything. I'm going to edit that so I can get a wind unit going on. Pretty sure I only have like one wind unit. And also, like I've said before, putting in different weapons inside of your main weapon slot depends on what the element you're going to use. So you guys saw that my... Well, I might as well just go here then, if that's the case. Oh, no, edit. I am all over the place. I apologize. Jesus Christ. But yeah, as you guys can see, it doesn't show an element on her, but she is basically a dark unit. As you can see here. But if I put in a wind weapon, or any weapon that works on her, which is water apparently, Oh, I forgot. She's, um, swords, isn't she? But yeah. Now she's water. You can only do this with your main character. You can't do this with any other gacha unit. 
So yeah, basically as I said, max out your units and everything. They get more unique skills. Then you can level them up and evolve them. Then they get more skills added on. It's it's really not all that difficult as I'm making it out to be. I just want that to be known. <laughs> but yeah, there is an uncensored version, which you guys can get from the main adult site. Uh, let's see. So you can just come over here, click on your skills. Make sure, also, hold on, there's something crucial here. If you're going to skip your skills and you already know what all your skills do, put on skip. If you don't, <laughs> don't, don't have this on. If you don't know what your skills do and you haven't gotten used to your units, don't have this on. Because it tells you everything you need to know. And like I said, she just adds on so many debuffs. That's why I love her so much. Like, she was actually a really good DPS. And if she put on Dizzy on you, you're going to lose a couple of your turns. It was retarded of how good she was. She probably is still, like, really good. So, yeah, I can see all my skills, what everybody does. I do have some... Our rank units that don't have like a lot of skills. I don't remember what she does. Keep us down. Enemy gauge. Well, alright. Just put attack, everybody attacks. So if you guys are wondering what your burst system is, it's basically everybody using a special attack and dealing a whole bunch of damage to an enemy. Then at the end of it, the whole group does like a special attack. Well, it's pretty much like a ending attack. Depending on how many units, you know, pretty much use their attack, it goes through. It's kind of difficult to explain. I would have to show it instead. But I don't think I'm going to be able to show it here, considering there's no bosses or anything. So let's use this. There we go. I'm pretty sure I did have a character that increased gauge, right? At least I think so. Let's go fight a boss and see how that goes. Yeah, since this character's maxes, I'm not going to get anything else in it. Now yeah, let's go find a boss. Now that I'll show you guys some pretty much... Pretty much the gist of it. Oh yeah, this is SP Quest. Um... Let's go with experience. Uh, let's go with a heavy wind unit if I can find one. Ah, oh, here's one. I'm gonna go with ability. Sadly, I wasn't able to get Jabberwock. Unfortunately enough. Oh, I didn't change my character stuff. It wouldn't let me. Yeah, this is gonna be retarded to do. Hold on. Hold on, I have to have wind elements and stuff. So I'm probably going to have to change out my main character because she doesn't have a wind weapon, unfortunately, because, <laughs> like I said, I stopped playing the game around that time and I probably miss wind swords and all that from, like, a event. So who... Which one is this? This is Hammer, right? Yeah, Hammer. So I need to find a Hammer unit that I have. Because that's pretty much the only good element I have, except for this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's something else. So, let's go look for a hammer unit that I have. At least, hopefully, I have one. Okay, I was just double checking. Yeah, this... She's glaives and swords, so I missed both of those. Who's Hammer? Oh, 
Ah, yes. The, the, the boss killer herself. So, bosses can go into, like, this rage mode to where they would start dealing extra damage, start using more unique skills, dealing damage. Then they have this little bar, which you're going to have to fight down, which is kind of annoying. So the more damage you did, the more his rage bar went down. And as that rage bar went down, as soon as it hit zero, the boss would be stunned for a couple of rounds. So you guys could just literally ditch out so much damage. All right, now that's done. Let's auto this. Come up with some win units. Not the best team in the world, but you know, they'll suffice. Maybe I shouldn't do expert, but you know, <laughs> YOLO, dude. I haven't played this game in a long time. Trying to work out some of the rest. Is there another Jackal Walk in here, please? Ah, no. <laughs> I missed my chance for it. That sucks. This curse is here, though. Kind of used up a lot of AP, there, too. If you leave, you don't get your AP back, unfortunately. Take off first, because I don't want you guys auto using that. Where is. Which one was this? Hit enemy. So, this is going to be quite annoying just because this is two stages, so the boss is up next. I'm going to have to be careful here. Which one was this? Attack down. And attack up for you. Sackable. That was a debuff. That was an increase. This was negate all the enemy attacks. There it is. So also they have these dots too, so when this dot is full, they're going to use their special attack. I'd rather kill the healer. I'm going to see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't do anything pretty annoying. Um, ow. Hello, dude. Chill. should be good so yeah this game has been pretty difficult especially if you didn't have like all the elements you needed for like certain characters it was really annoying all right here's a little rage gauge they have so as you attack you fill up that gauge her attack and defense. Get that through. Ability damage. This is when the boss is raging. I can lower the gauge so I can get to the stun faster. And once the boss goes from out of his rage mode, he gets stunned, and I can use this against him. And I can also use this as times that damage. I could have used that against her when she's raging. Whoops. I'm gonna use this to avoid damage. And I'm pretty sure that's all I can do for now. I'm almost there, there to my burst. This is where I'm gonna have to start using characters ah 
Ah, oh, that sucks. The characters I need aren't up yet. So I'm going to be taking that crap ton of damage. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is the resistant elements. These two are probably going to die. If anything, she's going to die, if anything. Oh, hopefully she goes in. Ah, I don't think that's a good thing either. Uh, that's going to start. You can, you can pick these up during matches. These don't stay with you. Anytime you like kill an enemy, they have a chance of dropping potions that you can use during battle. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm good. Regen. <laughs> Lower the gauge. Increase double hit. I need her stun like now. Yeah. And now that that character died, unfortunately, I can't use any of my characters anymore now that my main character died. Good thing I'm able to show this to you guys. So I'll probably be using up a ether here. Not gonna be getting hit by that again. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't kill her. But yeah, I can use oh. I was gonna say I can use my burst, but what eaves. But yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time and plus I don't have a lot of characters that can handle themselves at the moment. So this is kind of an issue. That's why I get for going into expert. But yeah. Now I can show off burst. Pretty much turn on burst, everybody goes glowy. And I'm going to decrease our attack a little bit so we can just kill her right off the bat. And there we go. Whoever the first element is, the end attack is going to be that element. So let's say if she was water and this character was dead and this slot was empty, I'm pretty sure it would be the water instead of wind. They go full burst, and boom! Now she's done. I pretty much did so many things out of order, but you know what? We we won. That's all that matters. <laughs> you get a whole bunch of loot at the end of it. Uh, this this game was kind of like no joke when you're starting out. It is pretty difficult, but you work your way through it like pretty easily. Then you get these event items that you pretty much turn in for rewards. Now that I have no more AP in my life, <laughs> let's go ahead and do some summonings. Hopefully they aren't out a lot of bugs they had. 
because they had some serious ones that kept me from like playing. One was when you, if you did 10 summons, it would like bug the hell out. Which one is this? Oh, this is with um, star coins. I don't think I have those. Back. Still no star coins. Darn it. Game. Where are all the magical? Oh yeah, star coins are the actual website uh, coins. If I'll just, I'll just expand it out. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and this is the dope site. You can get there easy through there. All right, so back to what we're doing. New character. Dude, there's so many star coins. Don't tell me I actually have to go down here to the actual ones. Oh, that sucks. Hold on, let me search through all these and I'll be right back with you guys. Not all these can be star coins, right? You guys are insane if that's literally it. But yeah, never mind. That's literally all. <laughs> you know what? They should sponsor me. I'll do this game every single day if that's the case. <laughs> Alright, so that's one that can be used with magical jewels. And I hate that we keep going back up to the top. Uh, well, I guess we'll try the new character summon first. Let's do those 10 summons. Oh my god, it's all rainbow. Okay, that's a new um, monster set of a character. That sucks. So now we get this character. Get her. So you gotta see what I mean by it. It's kind of really difficult to get actual characters. Unless you're working from like the event. So yeah, the game is pretty pay to win heavy. I could definitely say that. Oh, apparently I have a Valentine summon. Huh. Well, the Valentine character from that. <laughs> Rip. So I had a chance of getting her. Uh, what about this one? I have a ticket. I got an SR ticket, so I might as well get something out of it, you know? Oh, this is a Thunder unit for sure. Yep. Do I have any more tickets? Let's make sure. Oh, actually, I do. I'm just getting all these characters I I last stopped playing before. I don't even know what characters are good anymore. Yeah, these are just normal like actual like gems. These. I'm pretty sure you won't get anything good out of it. So yeah, this is the only summon that is the only actual summon where you can use your magical jewels. Ah, darn. I didn't get anything above SR. That sucks. As long as it's a character, please. Nah, none of them were actual good characters. That sucks. I remember you. 
So as you guys saw, my summonings really suck. So, yeah, the game is very, very pay-to-win-ish, especially if you aren't... Well, it's going to feel that way, especially if you aren't good at events yet. Once you get a good standing inside of events, you should be good. And there is no, like, ranking events and stuff like that to where people would just mow ahead of you and stuff like that. You guys aren't fighting for first place. You're literally just fighting for resources, which is, thankfully is not a thing for ranking rewards. That would be very dumb to have in this game. <laughs> I'm going to admit that that would be very dumb to have in, in this type of game, especially with all the people who mostly are pay to win. Hold on, let me go redeem my stuff. Oh, now I'm full. Whoops. Oh, yeah, guys. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try out the game yourself if you actually feel interested in it. But, yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll leave you guys a link down in the description to this version instead of the uh, adult version because I'm pretty sure I can get in trouble for that. But, yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> if you guys want to go to the adult version yourselves, just click this one and go straight to it. Yeah, both of your accounts work on either one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out.